In order to remove the Ocolab stage, you must first make sure you have a 1.5 millimeter hex screw driver, and then you must locate the appropriate holes next to the flat headed silver screwed tops. These are the only holes that you should put this hex driver into. Start on the top right, anti-clockwise to unscrew and then anti-clockwise on going around like a clock. And then detach the gas tube. The stage will now lift free. If you feel it wobble but it doesn't come free, loosen all of the screw the appropriate screws again. This will now come away cleanly. You can now position the adjustable stage insert back in its place. You will now use, need to use a flat headed screwdriver with a fairly fine tip which you will find next, next to the stage insert itself. There are some plastic screws for you to screw in. Please make sure that these are all screwed in securely but not to over tighten them. You will now be able to use the adjustable stage. To remove this, simply undo the screws as before, making sure that they are completely loose. Do your best to not drop any screws down into the body of the microscope. They're next to impossible to retrieve again. To reattach the Ocolab stage chamber Please place it in the orientation with the gas tube on the top port on the top left and starting from the top right find, locate the small flat headed screw and use the hex driver in the hole next to that screw. It's a guide star if you like that screw and tighten in there. The ones on the right hand side opposite the tube will be accessible when the lid is closed and then the ones on the left will be accessible when the lid is partially open and you can now tighten this in place please don't forget to put reattach the gas tube so that the next user who wants to do live imaging actually can have CO2 on their sample. Thank you.